Hey everybody, this is Anthony with the Lovanos Group and I want to go over the fourth step in our first time home buyer's guide and that's to evaluate which mortgage option is best for you. Now there's four mortgage options we detailed. That's the FHA, the conventional, the VA, and the CalHAFA programs. And in a later video, I'm going to address these programs with the mortgage lender. These are just going to be brief descriptions of each of the programs. So uh, let's go ahead and jump right in. So first is the FHA loan, which is a loan approved by the Federal Housing Administration. And it's really designed for people who have the income to purchase a property, but don't necessarily have the down payment or don't necessarily have the best credit. So all you need for this program is a minimum of 3.5% down and as little as 580 for a credit score, or if you want the best possible rates, a 620 credit score. Now, you can get approved with a 500 credit score. However, you need to put down 10%. So my recommendation is to always aim for the 620 credit score. That way you can get the best possible rates for this program. So the second option is to go with the conventional loan. Now this loan isn't guaranteed by a government entity like the FHA loan is, but it's offered through private lenders. And it's really designed for people who have a little bit more money saved up for a down payment and who have higher credit scores. Now what you want is a minimum of a 620 credit score. However, to get the best possible rates, you want to be at at least 720 to 740. And in regards to putting money down, you could put down as little as 3%. However, uh, we always recommend putting down 5% at a minimum just to get a better interest rate. Now, this one also includes private mortgage insurance if you're not putting down at least 20%, same as the FHA loan. So the third option is to go with the VA loan. A VA loan is offered by the Department of Veteran Affairs, and it's for active military personnel, for reserves, for veterans, and their spouses. And it's a very neat program because there isn't a minimum down payment required, there's no minimum credit score, uh, there isn't any broker fees, and there also isn't any mortgage insurance. However, there is a funding fee that you need to be aware of, and it varies depending on the type of person now. And I have that breakdown on our website at thelovenlessgroup.com. If you go to the VA loan, I have a chart of what the funding fee percentage is going to be. So the fourth option is to go with the Cal CalHAFA program. Now, within the Cal CalHAFA program, there's a couple options, but two of the more popular are the conventional and the FHA. And what's really neat about this program is that the government helps provide money for a down payment and 1% for closing costs. So uh, they provide 3.5% or less for the down payment, which is the minimum anyways for the FHA loan and then 1% for that closing cost. So there's very little money to bring to the table to make this program work. The only requirement is that you need a 660 credit score. So it's really designed for people who have the income, but don't necessarily have a down payment in order to purchase a property. So that's the four programs we went over today. If you have any questions in regards to these programs, you can always contact me. I also have them listed on our website at thelovenlessgroup.com. If you go to real estate resources, I have all four programs laid out there.